This will be the last series of the night, and we do have both players ready to go. It will be between Jay and Space Samurai to determine who comes out second seed in this Group D. Third seed drops down into Group F, which will be Hello. played on Thursday. And that's so, so for you guys who are either are just joining us, who haven't seen or heard how the uh, second set of groups are going to work, Group B and F, um, the way it's going to work is third and fourth are going to drop down, and if you do not be, if you do not come out first or second in those pool in those pools E and F, then you will be out of the uh, tournament. So that is the first time that we do. Uh, eliminate players from the tournament and then everybody else will be seated into a 16 man bracket so it should be should be a lot of fun and Space Samurai the teal Zerg from UAH spawning in the 9 o'clock position his opponent the Emery Blue Terran J spawning in the 3 o'clock position yeah, luckily these guys are different races, so that would be so difficult to yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah, you can apart. definitely. You, we won't confuse the teal zerglings with the blue marines. And now that kind of actually brings me into another talking talking point. The new patch comes out tomorrow, 1.5, and it re it removes MPQs from the game, which removes the ability to do strong team color mods, and then that makes it so difficult to tell for casters to tell which race or who is who in a mirror matchup. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. I'm yeah, I I'm a little bit angry because now I can't have Slayers or I can't have IU as my uh, background anymore. <laughs> that makes me sad. And it looks like we're going to see an early expansion out of space. So if he was watching that last series, he saw that Hawk very very successful with the three base early expands. Uh, he doesn't necessarily have the. Uh, I don't think he definitely has the execution that Hawk does to be able to pull it off, but I mean, not saying he can't do it. Yeah. Just saying, uh, that's like, um, what's a good analogy there? It's like... He's just kind of copying him, we'll see. Yeah, he can, it's... He can pull it off. But, uh, oh, I mean, I think a lot of the reason why Hawk's build worked is because... Jay was scared. He yes. was. Yes, he definitely had a. He definitely like had an overpower, overbearing uh, advantage there, just on the pure kind of psychological aspect of it, and mm -hmm. and going into it. So you're gonna make a lot more mistakes whenever you're afraid, and you're gonna whenever you make mistakes, you're gonna get on yourself about making your mistakes. Where in Hawk's position, he makes a mistake, it's like, all right, all right, just keep going. Where Jay, I guarantee you, he makes a mistake, and it's like, oh no, no, I'm, now I'm even further behind. There we go. Space Samurai has been doing his research. He puts yeah, down that the third base. Third base is going down, and uh, Jay will scout it out. You will see it, and uh, this has got to put some fear into Jay. Into Jay's Jay. going to be like, oh, oh no, no not just... again, not again. Yep. And this map is so good for it, too. It's like, it's, it's such a big map. map. Yep. And look, there he, I mean, he already puts down this bunker. He needs to do, he needs to just have these guys out on the map. There's just one thing about Jay's play that I don't like. He doesn't have any map control. He just is so passive. For its well, parent. so it's... Oh jeez, and I have been on. I am so sorry, guys. I have been on the uh, score screen the entire time. I am so uh. sorry. Um, hopefully, you guys will get this eventually. Uh, this is this. That's what happens whenever you're doing production and casting at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens. I'm right. doing the work of two tonight. But uh, my apologies. My apologies. I will. We will read. I'll re really quickly go over the bases so you can see what's going on. Two refineries for Jay, but uh, what I was going to say was it's completely different than um, MOSFET's play, where MOSFET is very aggressive. He gets he was putting pressure on every single game, and uh, I really would like to have seen him play out over uh, Space Samurai as they've played a lot of series against each other. They've played uh, probably at least ten times against each other. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, they're familiar. Oh, just gonna get that link in there and see what's going on. I think there's gonna be a similar build to uh, the last game. We'll see though. I don't know how well it's gonna. Oh wow, an early third. I don't know how well this is gonna work out because this is just such a long map. 
that the creep will already be spread and it'll just be so difficult to do any damage with, with so few aliens. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's such a huge map, and like you said, creep spread. That's creep spread will just be going out, going out. He'll be able to see everything coming his way. Yeah, and here we go. He's already moving queens down. It's this is. I think this is going to get shut down pretty easily by Space Samurai. I mean, Jay Jay's still in the game because he's got this third base going down soon. He's going to try and play a macro game as well. I mean, that's what you want to do on this map. But it looks more like this is kind of like a QXC style. You saw him do it against Stefano. Uh, at MLG Arena on Antigua Shipyard, you know, you go Banshee into, or you go Hellion into Banshee, and you just kind of pressure, pressure, pressure with that, and macro up behind it, trying to keep the Zerg back in his base, droning up instead of attacking. But look at this, even a s complete tight wall. Oh, yeah, very tight wall. With That's, a wow. double Evo and a spine, so no Hellions for you, No, sir. nothing is getting in there. Oh, and a two spines. Wait, is that a spine or a spore? Yeah, two spines already going down at the third base. He just needs to split these drones up, and it's those, just not Those queens will be able to handle that. Both yeah, two look at queens that. down there. Yeah, just keep those drones split up. Third queen coming down. One hellion goes down. Yeah, like, keep picking up a couple more kills, but... Uh, just not enough. The yeah. Space oh, he's going to try and push into the main. Oh, he does. He I didn't into the see natural. Oh, he's doing a lot of... Good he actually is, he's doing a ton of damage. This is really good for Jay. He's bear, he's being a lot of progressive. Workers killed there. That's great. That's a good job. Well, now ten workers being made, so yeah, lots of barracks going down. Yeah, wow, the worker count barracks is being built. even right now. But uh, oh, and here comes the banshee. It's gonna get denied pretty quickly though. Well, it does have cloak on the way, and their spore crawler just now going into production, so he's got a window here. Yeah. Where if he very, can push very it. small window, but... Oh, and the Overseer is coming out as well, so... This, this window's over. Yeah. Spore Crawler, oh, and he sees it and says, I am out of here. Yeah, good reaction time by Jay. You know, he could have taken a lot of shots from that, and he didn't. He got away perfectly. And now he's going to be able to go over to the other side and maybe pick off some workers. If he... Space Emerald needs to Yeah, that's exactly back. where yeah, he's going to go. go. One worker down. Yeah, and just great Two. harassment by Jay in this match. This is this is something that we didn't see him do in uh, the match against Hawk, which he really needed to do. Uh oh, is he gonna lose that banshee? Oh, oh, oh five no. Five hit. Oh here. no 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 no. Oh, oh there goes, goes the down. queen. Oh look at that! Space Samurai denies this third base with some with some creep spread. Oh. Very that nice. Oak it oak takes oak. forever for that creep to dissipate. It takes exactly 60 seconds. Once the Overlord has fully spread it. Exactly 60 seconds. And now you guys know. You heard it here first. And knowing is... Oh, I heard it on Reddit first. Well, and you heard it here vocally first. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Well, we do What's have a... What's that strange wing is walking across the map? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're really fast. How are they so fast? Well, they're just basically a gelatinous blob, so I mean, really, what's slowing them down? Oh, four banelings being morphed in right here out of these uh, forward zerglings, and there we go. The uh, Overlord has its full full creep spread. Now, now that I've said that, I don't actually know if it's uh, 60 game seconds or real seconds. I would assume 60 game seconds. Yeah, I would too. Because that is what everything, is, everything oh. is timed in. Well, we can time it out, if we remember. <laughs> well, alright, so it was about 12... It was 12 10. It was like, yeah, alright, we'll go 12 10. If it is around 12 10. And what is it, there's 1.38... Uh, there's 1.38 game seconds in real, in real seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're getting a little bit too technical there. Hey, we're math majors. I know, I know we're math majors. Dimensional yeah. analysis. <laughs> yeah. So well, I, well, oh, we need to yeah. plot the uh, how the how the creep yeah. is I think we might over time. Oh man, sport. so many zerglings! But that five hit point banshee is just going to go down there. The creep, it is sixty in game seconds. All right. Here you go. And command center just downlands with the Zerglings running in. 
Oh, that's so oh, many Zerglings. Oh, and Baneling Speed is done. There it is, Baneling Speed. But he, he needs to, pick to that up. save these. Oh! Ooh, good mic throw. He didn't miss. He lost Not bad bit. hits. That was good. That was, a, I would say, decent on both players' part. I mean, uh, Space didn't have enough Zergling or enough Banelings there to really do something with it. And I would say Jay's micro was pretty good. Yeah, but these lings are so good because oh, he is streaming in. Really, one best one. Or, I mean, Marauder heavy army. Oh, Marauder but he does clean it up. Yeah, and he's got a lot of that. Well, I guess he used it all. He's got a mule not doing anything. There we go. Well, worker count right now, 58 to 55, so we're not seeing a similar matchup to what we saw in the Hawk against Hawk, where uh, the worker count was just so different and such a huge discrepancy in the worker count. And uh, now we're seeing a little bit more even style of play here between Space Samurai and Jay. Yeah, but that fourth base up for Space Samurai, so he, I mean, this is about to take off. His economy is just about to explode. And the counterattack, wow, their armies have just passed each other yeah, like twice in the middle right of the map. in the map. middle of the map, but... Yeah. Uh, I guess you can't really see without... You can't see with that one... Uh, Jay is going to get spotted. Map. Oh, no, he needs to not send Zerglings out one at a time. That is how you get them killed. Yeah. And it looks like he's just going to go, oh, nope, now he's pulling back. And uh, this third base is, in, or fourth base is in a lot of trouble. Yeah, oh, no, all of these drones coming in. Oh, oh no. So many drones. Oh, my gosh, that is killer. Well, look at that, wow. So many banelings. But um, Space Samurai was able to clean up the mineral line at the natural for, oh, huge oh, fungal. Oh, huge fungal. Oh, so that was huge, so huge good. Fungal. Wow. Festers being very, very effective. And, uh, oh, and he gets two. Let's see if he can. There we go. That was a little bit fast of a clip, but. Oh, oh, is he going to keep them? There we go. There he gets the other. Well, so He's... we missed it. He, um, Space Samurai took out all of the SCVs at the natural. Yeah, he did pull. They was able to pull some back. And he saved a few, but. And, the, and it looks like he cleaned up the main as well. So if we go to the workers' loss tab, it is pretty much dead even on workers' loss right now. Yeah, Which, wow. For that huge loss that uh, Space just incurred, that is a big, big deal. But that's actually good for Jay because mules are really, really good. Mules are they actually... are a little bit overpowered, yeah. They're the best ever, so... Um, <laughs> oh, oh, what is... He's like gonna, this is uh, the StarCraft Master stuff right he's here. He's going to make this army walk right over it and then he's you should know that those are there he saw some of them oh, 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 oh there they go oh god space samurai has played way too much starcraft master yes he definitely has but uh that may be bad these two infestors are running for their lives and we have 46 zerglings on the way he needs to he's gonna force a cancel on this fourth base Space needs to get a cancel there. Oh! Oh, he doesn't get, get it. Wow. Is he going to be pushing down into the main now? Or into the uh, third there? He needs to back up. He doesn't have enough. He's just going to lose these guys. There we go. Morphing in some bait. Oh, no, he's dropping it. Oh, he's going to drop. Uh oh. Oh, he's going to see those banelings up on the high ground. Wow, that actually that dropped it a lot of damage. It's going to do a ton. And there go the banelings rolling in. Detonating on uh, Marauders, which is not necessarily the most effective thing to detonate on. We've got an Ultraless Cavern on the way, 3-3 three, three working, plus the uh, Journal Glands just now finishing those. These Zerglings are going to be very, very vicious. Would yeah, that's true, be, especially with this heavy and better Marauder army. Would not Marauders be just caught don't do them. a lot of damage for Zerglings. Uh, so, i got to assume that Jay is going, oh, oh cleans up those Bailing Landmines. I gotta assume that uh, Jay is going heavy marauder just to get that slow out and try and uh, slow down the banelings as best as possible. Well, it's really to tank. It's to tank damage. Yeah. You, you can you can hold position your marauders and pull all your marines back, and banelings don't do anything against marauders. And since infestors are armored, you do uh, mass amount of damage. Do tons to of damage against them. to those infestors. But it looks like Jay's gonna try and push here. There's a decent number of banelings. Oh, and space needs to realize that, see it. There we go. Oh, this is going to be big. There's the big fungal. Oh, God. And just kablammo. Another one. Oh, get another. Can he get it? He catches he a couple of greens. Oh, he needs to be careful. He needs to not lose any of these. Oh, big, some big banelings hits there. 
but uh, he is out of Zerglings. Yeah, but 38 more <laughs> more in right now. That's the thing. Zerg can just, if you keep up with your injects, Zerg can replenish so quickly. Well, but this so Space is not doing a great job keeping up with his injects. He's got a couple of queens that are full on energy. Oh, yeah, you're right. I mean, wow, he really does. And, and Jay has had this fourth base up for a very long time. I'm going to be, I'm saying that Jay is actually very firmly in the lead light right now. I think that he's going to, it's about to take off for him, and he's going to do kind of well, a this game. Is, this is definitely a very, very close match. Uh, the Zergling is now 3-3 three, three with that crackling upgrade. Here comes a drop at the fifth. Just two Banelings and two Zerglings there to defend it. I don't think that's going to be enough, and he has no idea about this. Where are the Zerglings? Where are all the Zerglings? Is the question on everybody's mind. Oh man, that queen just gets decimated. Those banelings don't even do anything. And oh, he does catch some reinforcements, but he's going to lose his fifth. Yeah, oh, I mean, so many workers killed. Here's the thing: the thing in TBZ is in the early game, Terran's all right if you do a lot of pressure, but in the mid game, Terran is so bad. They're just terrible. We do have they four ultras say. on the map somewhere. I, I'm not really sure. I keep seeing that, units for space, but I don't know where they are. Yeah, you're right. I don't see them either. There's, oh, they're in his main. They can't get out of his base. Can they not get out of his they base? Stop. Oh, that's yeah. so horrible. Oh, is he going to pick up some medbacks? Oh, he gets one. He up one. Now, oh, thing one is, gets out with six hit points. This is when Terran gets really strong, because his economy's good, and he's just going to be able to throw down racks everywhere, and just mass marines. And marines are the most cost-effective unit in the game. You can have this infester army, but if you do any micro at all, your marines are going to just tear it up. Oh and yeah, especially 3-3 three, three marines, they're just... Oh, look at that money scam. Oh, very nice This is too there. small an army, though. This is not going to do any damage. Oh, he catches some medvacs, some juicy, juicy medvacs, low on health. Oh, and these ultras are just going to town. Wow, Jay has great micro, actually. He's doing a really good job of holding this. But all four ultras still up and in the green. This marine's doing, like, no damage. But he needs to get those fungals so that he can keep them in place so those ultras can oh, optimize their defense. Three medivacs get taken down. Well, two get taken down, one gets severely weakened. Oh, don't bring the infestors in. What are you doing? He needs to target those infestors. Yeah, if he if he could see this, he should target those infestors, but... Oh, is he going to save this bait? Oh, no. he came close to being able to save One it. Ultra just barely alive, but still going strong. Oh, he goes down. Nice fungals there. It, wow, but oh, Jay is... Oh, it does really get cleaned up. Oh, he yeah. uses all of his Ultras. Yeah, Jay is in a commanding spot right now, and... He really needs more bases, though. Lots and lots of bases. There's so many infestors, though, which are very, very volatile units and can uh, really make the difference later in the game. I mean, you just yeah. leave those out there. They gather up energy. You have so many fungals, so many infested terrans. He doesn't need to lose them here, though. Oh, Space, you need to see that. Why is he face tanking those with the infestors? Oh, look how many medivacs he has, though. This is, he's going to be able to hold this because his medivacs can heal so well. As that every Marine has a personal medvac, golly, he's just throwing those infestors right on top of the army. And I don't, I feel like that is not the smart thing to oh, do right Oh, well, infestors do it with almost no health. And here come the Ultras. Oh, oh target down this Ultra, target. Oh, cleans it up. But that Ultra's still alive, a couple of infestors still alive, but there's a drop. At the, what is it, the fourth base? Oh well, no, that was actually, that came in with the army and just split it up. But look, I mean, Jay's done a good job of keeping up with his macro. He's got another small force here. That's ready to so attack. so many medvacs. There's just nothing that, uh, that space yeah. can do about these medvacs. The style's become really popular. Medivacs just scale so well. If you get enough medivacs, you can't do anything against a bio army. Well, it, if, and it's really, it's on space that, uh, He's not taking out those medvacs. If you keep those medvac, if those medvacs are allowed to stay alive, and then he just replenishes an army, replenishes an army, replenishes an army. If all he's got to worry about is macroing up marines and marauders, he he's unstoppable. 
Yeah, and he took out a lot of investors there that were just kind of... Big time, and uh, he's going to be in a little bit of trouble right now. I think this is definitely game number one is going to go to Jay. Yeah, but look at big Baneling bus going down at this third base. He's going to be able to take it out almost completely. Oh, do it. Maybe not exactly sure what he's going to do with yeah, his Baneling. He eh, he's looking for more bases. Jay doesn't have any more bases. That's the problem. Yeah, I feel like Space just didn't put on enough for us. There's the GG by Space Samurai, so game number one is going to go to Jay. And uh, redeeming himself there against... Uh, in that loss against Qu uh, Quantic Hawk.